Hey guys, it's my free front for rides. Well, long time no see. So, last week was quite busy, and uh, my first week in the lab again, and yeah, as I said, busy and long hours, and uh, was quite difficult to to put all the um, the kilometers into my legs, which I have to. Um, right now on the uh, tour of Cephalandria training plan and I sort of managed to do all workouts although some of them I had to rearrange and right now uh, standing starts I try to put them somewhere next week into my uh, schedule because um, it's quite a quite uh, it's low cadence and high power and that's what I'm struggling with right now so on top of being very busy having no time to make videos and, and other things um, there were some low cadence and high power drills or workouts and uh, since I was focusing on, on rather high cadence in the last couple of months I wasn't really used to that and, and uh, changing into the right gears. I guess that was the problem because now I have like quite some trouble with my lower back. So uh, quite a lot of back pain since yesterday, started two days ago maybe. So I have to take it a little bit easy with the low cadence and the high power. Anyway, so the week wasn't great, it was quite stressful, but then on Friday night I came home and, well, on this, yes, mail from Cephalandria, so let's check. It's by the way Monday. It's a holiday here in Japan. I was waiting until today to open this letter. Just for you. Patient. <laughs> Guess I know it. Anyway, already what's inside. Oh, okay. Here we go. Stickers. Nice. Black and white. Okay. Fine. For my bike, a decal. <laughs> Great. That's cool. Um already tried to order the the Knight of Cephalandria kit um, which is one million US dollar if you're not a knight if you're a knight then it's affordable you get a discount <laughs> anyway so I tried to order this but unfortunately um, they don't have the jersey in my size so I have to wait three months or so and check again. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Anyway, okay. So, um, yeah, there weren't any videos in the recent days. As I said, I was quite busy and uh, probably in the next three months I'm also quite busy. But still, I try to give uh, some updates, regular updates, for example, about the Tour of Cephalandria. Um, the training plan I'm on to right now will last until the middle of February. I'm not sure if I'll talk much about this one, but then, of course, uh, the Tour of Cephalandria itself, I will do some videos. And <clears throat> in the meantime, I I was thinking to to do some short videos about... Um, um, well, off the bike, and um, for example, in one video, I I'd like to talk about 
my journey on the bike how do I got there so when did I start cycling why did I start cycling and um, um, so what was the difference between the the years so you have to you have to know I'm not uh, cycling uh, that long I started in 2017 um, so just three years now and um, the, the the years were quite different in terms of what I did, how I rode my bike, um, training, uh, events like races, etc., or challenges. So the years were quite different, so there was a development uh, I would like to talk about, and um, and uh, yeah, lots of other things. Uh, another video could be a, a general um, summary between those those years what I did uh, in terms of races achievements and uh, make a, a, a short qualitative description of, of those years and then in another video it would be nice to to compare those years quantitatively to use some software and some graphics to show my development and, and so on and so forth so these are just a just a few ideas and also I, I, I'd love to talk about nutrition because this changed drastically during uh, uh, the second half of uh, 2019 last year and it was a game changer for me I think uh, but not only and uh, another video could be about um, the software I'm using um, as you may guess I'm using the software test uh, but not only um, I'm using Xert and of course Strava I used some other stuff in the past and um, but basically what I'm doing right now is I use the Sufferfest for training, monitor my achievements and have some fun and do some uh, uh, different workouts on Xert. I watch the trainer old uh, YouTube videos, I listen to the podcast. I'm not using the software, I'm not using the app. Um, Training Peaks uh, WKO5 for in depth analysis. In the past, I, I've been using Golden Cheetah, but I don't know, it was a bit. Um, I was struggling actually, so it was quite dense. Uh, the learning curve is. Uh, it's, it's a bit complicated, and uh, changing to WKO5 changed things quite a bit anyway um, I still think Golden Cheetah is in certain ways superior but uh, I, I, I believe um, WK05 is more user friendly um, if you don't have so much time to dive into um, the meta in, into the, the, the actual software and uh, then yeah anyway but that's a personal choice mm. yes I think basically that's that's it for now and then of course uh, other videos will be um, about races um, I will do some videos uh, about races or show races um, our preparations and what I'm planning what are my plans for for the upcoming year etc etc so I try to to uh, put out uh, a number of rather short videos when I'm talking about these kind of things and it would be great if you could, could just tell me what would you like to know? Not not necessarily about me uh, and, and my cycling, my training, but also 
in the general topics you would like to 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 hear about and to talk about or learn about uh, I'm happy to to study certain topics and tell you about it that's what the channel could be about um, yes so perhaps I will start today even to work on another video um, but actually I have to study a little bit more about uh, the analysis software and uh, how to to do some some fancy stuff where I can really show you something which makes it clear what kind of changes occurred during the last years in my performance in my training etc so that will take perhaps a while but uh, yeah um, that's also a great way for me to, to learn about it and a motivation to tell you about it yes okay so but for now that's it and um, yeah so I will now tidy up my, my my little workshop, my my booth, my cycling uh, workshop, and then uh, yeah, let's talk about stuff later. And in the meantime, check out my other videos. If you haven't done so already, subscribe subscribe to my channel. And well, uh, get a bike, get on your bike, and be awesome. See you.